Hey fam, I'm back with a new speed art video. Today's subject is yet another good looking young man. I don't know whether or not you've seen my drawing of Sam that I did over the summer, but I decided to try to do the same thing here as what I did with him. Basically how this works is I have this photo reference and I put down my initial outline, you know, just eyeballing the picture, and then I slowly try to get that outline to look like the picture just use my black pen. The cool thing about this, that you can't really tell right now, is that my pen is on its own layer, and when I start blending it out, it's going to look gray, right? But really, it's just going to become more transparent, sort of like smearing paint on glass. This is going to be super important later on when I want to add color, because I can just put the color behind the black, and it looks great. I love doing stuff this way because it feels kind of like doing stuff the way I started making art, which is to say, it feels like working with pencils, you know? Shading things in monochrome and then blending it to death until I like what I see. Or at least, I don't hate what I see, you know? Plus, I really like digital stuff because I can manipulate little sections if they're not just right. There's a lot of room for mistakes here, which is really important because I'm still kind of new to this kind of art and I'm big on being able to improve, even when I've done my best already thus far. There's just always something I can do to make the drawing better. It gets less obvious as time goes on, though. I guess I should talk a little bit about who I'm drawing here. His name is Charles, and he's leaving for the Navy really soon, so I'm not going to see him for a bit, which is sad. I met his family at Parma, or which is a church convention, if you guys don't know that, and they are the sweetest people. We played frisbee and cards together, and then when I saw them again at Boring, which is a different church convention, they said that I'd made a great impression on their youngest, which was super cool. He's the cutest little guy. Pretty precocious for his age, actually. He's ten, I think. He looks a lot like his brother here, and he likes wearing this adorable black trench coat like he's a ginger Sherlock. I gave him my last gigantic sweet tart once, and he stuck the whole thing in his mouth in one bite. No nibbling or anything, it was hilarious. We used to talk pretty often, but he hasn't replied to my text for a bit, and I don't know what happened. I'll probably be able to catch him next convention, though, and I'm sure things are all fine. Their whole family has this sort of royal feeling to their sha facial shapes. Their mom looks like the queen of some mystical land, and the end this one looks like an aspiring king. And I personally think Charles here looks like that prince who's mildly rebellious, because he's not going to get the throne anyways. That's not his personality, though. <laughs> He's cool. Kind of sarcastic and dramatic at the same time. He actually doesn't like getting his picture taken, which is funny to me because it's not like he's not photogenic, obviously. I got this picture from a group photo he was pretty much forced into at this cabin trip church retreat thingamajiggy last weekend. It cracks me up because there were 23, pic 23 people in that picture, and all but him and one other guy were smiling. He's just so unimpressed, and the camera picked it up. And now I'm reinforcing it here. You're welcome, Charlie. I've just stared at this grainy old low-res picture for three and a half hours and it's forever written in stone now. <laughs> but I think it was worth it. I like how it turned out. You know, usually I don't show people the picture I use as a reference, because I don't feel like my drawing's ever close enough to the real thing. And if I have the real picture and my drawing side by side, there's almost always something that sticks out painfully to me. So doing it this way is kind of a brave leap for me. I hope they don't clash too terribly to you guys. Plus that I even showed y'all what my drawings look like at the start with super dark wrinkles and unibrows. Ah, uh, fun stuff. But hey, maybe it'll encourage someone who doesn't think they can draw like me. Like, what if your drawings look like my drawings at the start? It just takes a lot of time to make it go look good, I guess. And it takes some image manipulating software, preferably. I started using GIMP as a substitute for the expensive paint tool Sai, and it's super clunky and awkward and not very user-friendly, but I'm really used to it by now, and it definitely does its job. Well, there you have my final drawing. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Love y'all!